Good morning, everyone. It's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor. How are you guys? I'm still keep fiddling with my camera angle because I can't seem to get it exactly, exactly right. I want you to be able to see my fun little sign in the background and my project. <laughs> okay, so today is um, a day where we're gonna paint a little bit. We're gonna chat a little bit. I've got some exciting things to talk to. Oh, what in the world? And it must have already been preset to pop up the thing about red aspen nails. I don't know why that came up. I need to change that. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to be chatting a little bit about the live event that we're doing in Dallas, Texas in just 94 days. Can y'all believe that? 94 days. Ugh, the time is ticking down. It's getting closer and closer. And it's like planning a wedding, you guys. While it's so exciting, it's it's also like there's so many details, so many things that I want to do and plan with you guys. We're going to be getting lots of things for your swag bags and uh, for giveaways and things like that. Um, and I'm also going live on TikTok right now. Um, my other phone that I used for that was dead as a doornail. So <laughs> I had to wait for a few minutes for it to um, charge back up before I could start that. Good morning, Diana. Hi, Lucretia. Y'all say hi as you come in. Tell me where you're watching from. Um, let me get this going. If I can type painting, go live. And I've got to adjust my camera on that one too. Hello, Gray. Hi, Brandy. She said, I love watching you. I need to order some of those and I need to get back into painting. Yes, you do. Painting is so therapeutic. You definitely need to get back into it if you've taken a little break. Okay. I think I've about got it now. I don't know what's going on with the filter, why it looks so funny, but <laughs> y'all just ignore me for a second while I fix this. I don't know how to make this go away. There we go. Okay. <laughs> hey, Patty. Marie says those are some cute frames. Thank you. They're the blue gingham um, from Pear Eyewear, and I thought they went really great with my, like, Easter shirt. This is one I got from Cotton Chaos, like, three years ago, back when they were still doing um, vinyl uh, heat press stuff. And it says, not too hip to hop. And um, I only get to wear it for about one week out of the whole year, so I was wearing it today. Hi, April. Hi, Marcia from Ohio. Hello, Cindy. Okay, so today we're going to paint this cute little bunny. It's a bunny head um, with little flower crown on her head. And I will say, this one is a couple of years old, this design is. But the reason I'm painting an older design is because all of our Easter templates and blanks are on sale right now. I don't know if y'all know that, but our entire Easter collection, the blanks are 50, or sorry, the templates are 50% off and the blanks are 15% off. So um, that sale will end on Easter Sunday. So if you have any last minute Easter templates you want to grab, head on over to the Easter section in our shop. Templates 50% off, blanks are 15% off. Hi, Shonda from Georgia. I'm from Kentucky, in case you're wondering. Um, and so you can get that deal from now till Sunday. Sorry, still adjusting my camera here. There we go. Hi, Robin. How are you? Um, hi, Kim from Texas. So you're in Texas. Kim, how far are you from Dallas? Because we are doing an event in Dallas on July 15th and 16th. And so I want to chat with you guys a little bit about that today while I paint. Um, it's going to be a two day, yeah, stock up for next year. Yeah, it's a little too late to paint Easter designs to try to sell right now. But you could paint one for your own front door or for a friend, um, or you could just stock up for next year. Good point. Um, so our event in Dallas is two days, and over those two days, we're going to do, I think it's 12 different workshops with you guys. And we have um, 10 different guest artists that are coming to teach you guys painting. And we're actually, you're in for a little treat because later today at 2 p.m., and at 7 p.m., I'll be going live on my page, paint or uh, not painting, interviewing those ladies that are going to be our guest painters. So first on this design, to cover up this wood grain, and because most of this bunny is white, we're just going to go ahead and paint the entire thing white. Um, so just give her a base coat of white to kind of neutralize that wood grain. But we're doing all kinds of projects at the Southern Adornments Live Show. It's not just door hanger painting. Uh, we're also doing like a few projects with can on canvas, um, and then we've got a fun project where we're going to teach you how to paint your own earrings. Um, we have three, count them, three, one, two, three, guest or hand lettering experts. So if hand lettering has been one of those things you've always struggled with, you're going to really enjoy these ladies. Um, Casey Hope. 
Christy Doherty. I hope I'm saying her name right. I need to ask her tonight exactly how to say her last name. And Jennifer Raiden are all going to be there. Christy and Jennifer are Texas natives. And so they're going to be coming and teaching um, hand lettering. Christy teach, is going to be teaching it like on a paper craft, like on making like a fun little happy mail card with some, she is all about the washi tape. So she's going to bring a bunch of her custom designed washi tape for you guys to play with. Um, plus she's going to teach you a little bit of hand lettering on the happy mail. And then Casey Hope is um, going to be teaching hand lettering with a little bit of paint and paint pens. So that'll be fun. And that'll be like on a, on a cute little acrylic frame. Um, Kim says, I'm only three hours and my family thinks I'm crazy since I'm a craft hoarder and don't compete, complete much, but I want to attend. I can't read the rest of your comment, Kim, but, um, you definitely should attend. There's a link up in the description where you can go and buy your ticket. And I will say that between now and April 30th, um, we are, we have a deadline to meet. So April the 30th is the deadline to get the early bird swag. So, what does that mean? That means that you are going to get, do you have that piece of paper? Thank you. I had it written down because I knew I'd forget when I go to talk about it. So the early bird swag means that you get access to the event recordings. So every single workshop we're teaching um, is going to be video recorded. And so you will get access to those recordings. And you may wonder like, why would you want access to the recordings if you're there to do it live with everybody? Because some of these things, you're going to be doing them for the first time. And just off the top of my head, I'm thinking of uh, Cindy Manley, who's going to be teaching a glass and resin project. And if you've never used resin before, there's a very specific way you have to mix up the components and a specific way that Cindy teaches to put the resin and the glass on the project so that you use as little resin as possible. So your resin will go further. Um, and so, you know, if you're doing that live with her in the workshop, you're going to do just fine. But if you like want to do that project again when you get home and you're like me, you're going to be like, I don't remember. How do I mix the resin and how do I, how do I put, do I put the resin on first or do I put the glass on first? I don't remember. So you can go back and watch the recordings of the workshops to do these projects again at home if you, um, you know, forgot how to do them. Plus, it's, uh, some of these uh, workshops will be recorded in the room while you are doing the thing. And so you might see yourself on video and all that. And it's just kind of fun to kind of watch it later. It's kind of like watching a home movie. You know, you get to relive the memories as you watch it back. Talk to Tanya Smith. She's a new PC sister and an introvert. And this is way out of her comfort zone. Okay. Tanya Smith says she's a new PC sister and an introvert. And why, is this out of your comfort zone because you're afraid to come alone? Like, are you afraid to travel alone? If so, the, um, I'll say two things. First, you can bring a friend with you, have them buy a ticket too, and come with you so that you feel like you've got, you know, your your buddy with you. If you're afraid um, because you're not very advanced in painting, you're new to the Painters Clubhouse, and that part's intimidating, we are going to have a lot of people there who have hardly ever painted before. It's totally normal. I think of um, our friend, Miss Pam Savage, who I'm actually going to be interviewing tonight at 7 p.m. here on Facebook. Um, she came to our event in Dallas back in 2019 for the very first time. And she was sitting there and she said, you know, she said, I've never really even painted a door hanger before. She said, but I'm having so much fun. And she just had a blast. And she said, you just make this, you just make this so easy for us to sit down and do with you. And guess what? Fast forward three years later. She's now teaching one of the workshops at our Southern Adornments Live Show in Dallas. How awesome is that? Oh, there she is. Pam's watching right now. She said, I was an introvert until the live, not anymore. So, Miss Pam, maybe you can give her some advice in the comments about, like, if she can't find a friend to come with her and uh, she has to come alone, what advice would you give her? Because I know Miss Pam here, she showed up as an introvert and she had to sit beside people she did not know. But I've heard from multiple people who have come to these events alone before who have said, the minute you step in the room, it's like you're with family or friends. And she said, it's just such a warm and welcoming, kind atmosphere, and everybody is just so sweet. And so, um, if you're scared to come alone, just know that you're going to make a friend within the first few minutes of being there. So, don't even worry about that. Um, we've even had some people come, and they have their husband come with them. And sit beside them and paint but then we've also had some whose husband traveled with them but during the day the husband went and did husbandy things 
<laughs> and the wife came in and did the crafting session. So if you want, you could travel and stay in the hotel with your husband, and he could come. He could come down and paint with us if he buys a ticket. Or if he doesn't want to buy a ticket, he could just go and you know maybe go to a museum or something like that while you are painting. Oh, it's the small talk. Yeah, small talk can definitely be awkward, but I think when you have something to do with your hands, like painting, it eliminates that awkward small talk because you have a, a project in front of you that mutually everybody is doing. So you don't have to try to talk about the weather or anything like that. You can talk about the project. Um, if there are, oh, is it assigned seating? No, definitely not. But I didn't mention this a minute ago. Um, we were talking about the early bird swag, right? There's another layer to this, y'all. Another layer. The first 50 ticket buyers, and we've already sold some of those. So if you have already purchased your ticket, ticket, you are going to get the, the, these, these little perks if you were one of the first 50 ticket buyers. The first 50 buyers get the superstar treatment. You guys get early access to the ballroom which means you get to pick your seat before anybody else. There's going to be like 200 of y'all. And the first 50 get to go in and pick their seats first. So you'll get to pick the best seat. So if you buy your ticket right now and you're one of those first 50, you'll get to pick your seat first. Uh, the second perk is that you'll get a Painter's Clubhouse t-shirt for free. Um, and then the, uh, you'll also get extra time in a photo booth with me and the other guest artists on the last evening of the event. And then we're also going to take it one step further and give you the superstar treatment by sending an extra special little gift to your hotel room. So that's for the first 50 people. Now the early bird swag that we were talking about that expires on April 30th, you have to buy your ticket by April 30th to get all this, is access to the event recordings at no extra charge like we talked about, extra goodies in your swag bag, and an event t-shirt and and possibly more things. I don't know, I've got other things. I can't promise other things because I've, I've got other ideas, but I'm going to get as many goodies in there as I can. You're also going to get a coupon to use in the Southern Adornments vendor booth um, at the event and possibly a little something special that I cut for you my, on my laser. So I'm excited about all this stuff. Chastity said, I bought a ticket from someone else and had it transferred. Will I still get these perks? Yes. Yeah. If your name is in there already on that ticket, then you would. Brenda said, I would be there if I could afford it, but my, I understand. So we're going to talk a little bit more about this in a few days because I've got a live plan to talk to you guys about for those of you who cannot afford it. But um, somebody messaged me earlier asking questions and they said, so where did my paper towel go? I just know I had one in here. <laughs> oh, it's on the floor. Hold on. Hold, please. Okay. So if you're um, afraid you can't afford it, I want you to come up with your budget. How much is it gonna cost? You're gonna have to pay for the ticket and the hotel, whether you fly or you drive, there's different costs involved in that. Whether you share your hotel room or not, there's different costs involved. I will say the hotel has a room block. And so if you are um, gonna be staying in the same hotel as the event, it would be $125 a night if you book with our room block. And so if you travel with someone, you could split the cost with them. Or if you meet somebody at the event and share a hotel room with them, it would um, reduce the cost also. And if you're trying to think of ways to be able to come up with the money for this, might I suggest that you host a paint party. Paint parties are the fastest and easiest way to make money for um, off of door hangers. Yes, you could sit here and paint 10 door hangers and try and hope somebody will buy them and try to sell them to make money that way. Or you could host a party in your home or at your church fellowship room or at a local restaurant for 10 people and charge $30 a person and there you've instantly made $300. So think of something like that that you could do. Um, just come up with a simple project. Maybe it's just a door hanger like this or it could even be like a little fun little canvas painting and you don't even have to be able to teach painting in order to do a paint party. You just have to provide the supplies and like have everybody come and just have fun. You don't have to teach them. You don't have to say step one, do this, step two, do that. Just provide all the supplies and everybody will, um, will have a good time. 
They may have some questions along the way about what to do, but if you've watched enough of my, vid vi my videos, I sound like Charlie. When she says video, she says it with a B. If you've watched enough of my videos, guaranteed you're going to hear Tamara's voice in your head giving them advice about what to do when they're painting. Okay, have I missed any questions? Because I've been talking 90 miles an hour. <laughs> How do they know if they're in the first 50? So, if you're in the first 50, um, I don't know. If you've got your ticket now, you're in the first 50. Okay, so yeah, if you've already purchased your ticket now, you're already in the first 50. We haven't sold all 50 yet. Um, <laughs> thank you, Chelsea. I appreciate that. So, if you're just now tuning in, we're talking about the event that we're doing in Dallas, Texas in July. July 15th and 16th. It's only 94 days away. You need to go and get your ticket right now so that you can be one of those first 50 ticket buyers. Um, if not, you're still going to get some amazing things because of the early bird swag that everybody who get gets if you purchase by April 30th. Tanya's asking about the room rate. Um, so no, don't call the hotel directly, Tanya. Um, after you purchase your ticket, there is a, um, a link inside the private Facebook group for the event. And so you can go into that Facebook group and, um, grab the link there. Ooh, I put too much pink on this. <laughs> I'm trying to give my bunny pink cheeks. I love this. Debbie said, I'm from central Missouri. Is there someone that would share a ride with me? So that's a great idea, Debbie. Find somebody who wants to like road trip it with you, meet up with you at a, at a central spot and y'all could go together the rest of the way. You could also post that inside the um, private Facebook group for the event. And you might find somebody there as well. Even if they're not from your area, they may be passing through your area and could stop and pick you up. Um, Julie says, if you do the virtual ticket, will you get a supply list in enough time to purchase what you need to join the live stream? Yes, yes. We plan to have those out to you, um, I think we said by May the 1st, so you could order. Hello, Annette. Watching raining in Minnesota. Yes, it's been raining like nonstop here in Kentucky. I'm trying to give this bunny pink cheeks and I put way too much pink on here. So let me just show you. We're just going to get a baby wipe and kind of pick it up. Airport in close proximity. Um, the event's in the hotel. The event is in the hotel. And I'm not sure how far. I need to look up exactly how far it is from the airport. Because I'm not quite certain on that. Pam says yes, they are. Okay. Pam is from Texas, so she would know. But that's a great question. Okay. I kind of got this pink thinned out a little bit. <laughs> hey, Susie. So, Pam is going to be one of our instructors at the event. And she is going to be teaching a stenciling uh, project on a sunflower and um, that's gonna be lots of fun she's very very good at all the stenciling and adding the little details and things like that so I think y'all are really gonna enjoy her workshop uh, the virtual ticket Donna is 147 but painters clubhouse members get a 50% or $50 discount on that uh, they also get uh, $50 off their Southern Adornments live ticket so be sure and go in and grab your discount code for that inside the painters clubhouse membership site Marie said, I would love to, but it's a long trip from Virginia. Well, Marie, let me tell you this. Like, the last two events that we had were in Nashville, Tennessee. And both events, we had 26 different states represented. We had people fly in all the way from, like, Oregon and Wyoming. And so, um, you know, if you've got some flyer miles built up or you maybe, maybe you can find, like, a, uh, one of those airline deals where you can fly down for pretty cheap. Because Dallas has a major airport. You should be able to fly into Dallas from just about anywhere. And so that might make it more doable for you. Because I don't blame you not wanting to drive that far. That's a, a long, long drive. Ashley thinks she'll have a garage sale to raise money. Oh, that's a good idea. Ashley's going to do a garage sale. I love that. Really smart. I'm adding a little bit more white back in to tone down the pink on these cheeks. This bunny looks very embarrassed right now. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta step back a little bit. I'm leaning back to see what it looks like.
Do I have any other questions? Oh, if you want to know what the projects are that we're going to be doing at the event, like what kind of projects, I want to uh, tell you, go to the page where you buy the tickets and um, there's going to be some buttons along the top or if you're watching on mobile, it may be like a little menu bar. But go there and click on um, presenters and when you go to presenters, that page has all of our presenters and all the projects they're going to be teaching. And so that'll kind of give you a little sneak peek of what you, what's in store for you at the event. And then um, on the main page, the main sign-up page at the very top, there's a video that we've put in there. And that is a video that we made at our very first Southern Adornments Live. I look a little different and I'm not as confident talking on camera. I can hear the nerves in my voice in that video. But if y'all go watch that, that will give you um, sort of an idea of what it's like at those events. I love that idea. Pam says, tell your family you want a ticket for Mother's Day. Yeah, everybody pitch in so they can send you to Dallas. Your husband's a pilot. Donna, tell him to just pick me up on the way. <laughs> well, Donna, if you're trying to talk him into taking you, you need a reason for him to go. What is what is a reason he would like to go to Dallas? Is there like something there he can go see or do? Um I know that it, like over in Fort Worth, which is not too far from there, there's the stockyards. Y'all could go and watch the bulls as they're paraded through town. Um, there's museums and all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, this t-shirt is from Cotton Chaos from like three years ago, so you can't get this one anymore, unfortunately. Is the virtual ticket live? Yes, it'll all be live streamed. And then the recordings will be um, put in a safe place for you to be able to watch them again later. When is the event? It is July 15th and 16th in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> you love museums? Yeah, they've got, uh, there's a railroad museum. Is he into railroad? Like, or is he into railroad? Is he into trains? Send him to the railroad museum. AT&T Stadium where the Cowboys play, yes. If he likes concerts, I think there's always like concerts and things going on. You need a, something to entice him so he wants to go. Um, we're going to paint the inside of this bunny's ears pink too. John Wayne Museum. Oh, did, oh there was something else um, I read about. You know the TV show Dallas from way back in the day? The ranch where the Dallas TV show was filmed is now a place you can go and tour. And uh, I think it's got like a little museum and stuff in it too, which sounds really cool. It says something about it's the most famous ranch in the world or something. But go look that up online. They've also got a lot of like outdoor stuff you can do. Um, there's like a, a nature preserve and a park. I think you can go kayaking or canoeing. They've got zip lines. So if he's an adventure kind of person. You could probably find something for him to do there. There's lots of hiking and nature trails. It's a huge town, so there's probably all kinds of things he could go do. JFK Museum. Oh, you guys are giving me great ideas. I didn't know about that. <laughs> the date is July 15th and 16th, but you need to work on him in time for you to get... Uh, the early bird swag, April the 30th is the deadline for that. And if we sell out of tickets before then, then, you know, so be it. But, and I hope we do, but who knows? So don't, don't wait until April 30th, just in case tickets sell out before then. <clears throat> Where are your three main t-shirt groups? Um, I'm in the framed group, the cotton, cotton pick and tea club and the, um, the one by redheaded camel. Those are the three t-shirt clubs I'm a part of. <laughs> what were you looking up? I didn't. I was double checking the uh, coupon code for the virtual. Oh, yeah. Uh, Texas Rangers baseball games, Six Flags, several water parks. Love these ideas. I have paint on my face. Do I? Do I have paint on my face? Yeah, you do. Right cheek, halfway down, just a smear. Did I get it? Yeah, you did. <laughs> you must have a really high definition phone to see that. Of course, I am about three feet from my phone, so I couldn't see it. I'm like, where? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, that does not surprise me one little bit, though, that I had paint on my face. TikTok wants to know when is the event. Um, it is July 15th and 16th. I've already forgotten what color some of these things are on this design, so I may have to wing it. I'm not very good at winging it because I like having a plan. Okay, so we need a pink for our flower, maybe a purple. I kind of like this color. Or, ooh, or this one, dragon fruit. Let's do that. And then we need a purple. What do they need to bring or be prepared for the event? So you don't have to bring anything, no supplies. We, we're providing all the supplies and stuff like that. But I will say we are doing a um, pajama paint party on Friday night at the event from like 8 to 10 p.m. So after you go to dinner and everything, you can come back to the hotel, put on your jammies and come down to the ballroom and we're gonna have a pajama paint party in there. And so that is not a time when we're teaching anything. It is literally just for you to have fun and paint with everybody and to mingle. And so, you can either bring a craft from home to do during that time if you have a project you're working on or something you want to do while you're at the event, or we're going to have vendor booths set up selling blanks and stuff like that. You can purchase something or earlier in the day or at the vendor booth that you could then come and paint during the um, pajama paint party. Or catch up on what you didn't finish. Yeah, yes, that's a great point. Or if you're a bit of a slow painter, that will be an excellent time for you to get to catch up on a project that maybe you didn't get done during one of the early, the workshops earlier in the day. Um, <laughs> I didn't see what she was saying about a rental car or an Uber. It disappeared too fast. Oh, um, everything is spread out there. So you'll have to rent a car or Uber to sightsee. Yes. I plan on... Um, I don't know what I plan on. I probably need to rent a car. I haven't really thought that far ahead. We're planning on flying in for it, so. Okay, let's use these three colors. A yellow, a pink, and a purple for our flowers. I think I may do this big one in the middle, yellow. And then we're gonna give away some Happy Mail, shall we? Uh, Pam also advised, if you're traveling, bring an extra suitcase to carry your purchases back in. And all your swag, because you're going to have swag, you're going to have all your workshop projects, and anything you've bought at the vendor booth. So you probably need an extra suitcase for sure. Um, so let's give away some happy mail. Let's, uh, everybody comment, um, and just leave me a, a quick comment. If you want to, you can just say, I'm here, or pick me, or something like that. And we're going to randomly choose somebody to win some happy mail. So just drop a quick comment to let us know you're here. Perhaps you've been watching this whole time and haven't said a word. That's fine. If they fly in, will you have shipping supplies available for purchase so they can ship your projects home? We're working on it. Yeah, we're working on a plan like that. I would love to have like UPS or FedEx or something come and set up like a quick little booth or something on the last day so that they could help you guys ship your projects. I don't know if I can get them to do that, but I'm going to try. So we're working on a plan for that. <laughs> I love all these comments. Pick me, pick me, I'm here. It's funny how many people are watching silently that show up all of a sudden <laughs> when we do the giveaway. You wanna win? Hey, uh, Paula, good morning. Thank you for sprinkling the love, Connie. I appreciate that. This color is the purple cow color. We're gonna use this on one of these little flowers. And I'm just using a little half inch wide uh, flat tip brush. Okay, our Happy Meal winner is Julie Bodenstab. She ha must be having the most lucky week of her life. She won the Red Aspen Nails in our community giveaway. I had no idea. <laughs> Aaliyah didn't even know because I did it all through text. So, Julie, I don't know if you need to go buy a lottery ticket right now or, or what, but this must be like a lucky, lucky week for you because Sunday I just drew her name for the winner of the Red Aspen Nails. That's crazy. <laughs> did you ever make a purple cow drink oh no i didn't i definitely need to though i would love that <laughs> i keep forgetting to, to get um grape soda at the store to do it all right can you give the date and location of the event again 
Yes, the event is July 15th and 16th in Dallas, Texas. If you want to know more about it, click the link that I've put up in my profile. If you're watching on TikTok, there's a link in my profile there also. Um, and over there, there's a video that kind of shows you the, the last event that, or the event that we did back in 2019. Uh, if you, there's different pages. So there's a page about the presenters and the work, and that's going to have the information also on all the workshops that we're doing. There's um, a ticket info page that tells you what all your ticket covers. And so you'll need to check out those different pages and um, on the ticket info page is where you actually make your purchase. But you can purchase either an in-person ticket or a virtual ticket. So virtual would get you access to all of the recordings of the event that we do for all the workshops. Um, you'll get also supply lists for all of those projects so that you can paint right along with us. Um, Marie wants to know if we'll be able to do all the events that are available. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we have several, we have 12 different workshops and you get to do all the workshops. So the way it works is the morning workshops before lunch, we will all be together in one big room in the ballroom. And so that will be like all 200 of us learning at the same time and painting together. And then we'll have like lunch break and so you guys can go eat lunch and everything and then when you come back um you uh will go to breakout rooms and so those will be smaller rooms of about 50 people each and those groups will rotate among four different things um so there's three workshops going on in the afternoon so one group will always be rotating in and out of break time and that will give you guys time to like go back to your room for a few minutes if you need to relax to just sit around and chat or to go to the vendor space and do some shopping. Because even though we come for the projects and we want to paint and do all the fun things at these events, sometimes just the time when you're able to like sit back and, and chat with everybody and relax and have that downtime is the most important time because it allows you to form real connections with people and make friends. And who knows, you may leave this event with a new crafting bestie or a new business bestie. And if you don't have a crafting or a business bestie yet, like you don't know what you're missing out on. Because a crafting bestie is amazing if like you need somebody to geek out with you about this new project that you just painted and you have to show somebody. Uh, or if you have like a question that you're embarrassed to ask in a public on a public page or a, a group page, you could private message them and say, you know, what, what was that? What was that sealer you used last week or, you know, something like that. You can share tips with each other. And then a business bestie is amazing because if you're having a slump in your business and you need advice, you can go to that person. Or if you um, had something amazing happen and you want somebody to celebrate with, not everybody in our everyday life kind of gets it. And so if you have a business bestie, they, um, they get it. They understand it and they're going to celebrate with you. And they, they understand what a big deal it is when you're celebrating something like that. So definitely if you don't have a crafting bestie or a business bestie, these events are important for finding those people. It's like a perfect opportunity for you to network with other people who are like you. Okay, I need to find a color green for my leaves. I think I'm going to use this one. It's a real soft. It's Hauser Light Green. Have I missed any questions? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> you definitely need to pack your clothes <laughs> yeah no but you don't have to if you're asking about like craft supplies and stuff like that no you don't have to bring any of that kind of stuff we are going to provide everything you're going to need for these different crafts and for all the workshops that's a lot of work to organize tell her on yeah yeah yes it's like planning a wedding there's so many details yeah, and I'm not a details person, am I, Leah? No. <laughs> Aaliyah's a details person, so if it wasn't for her, we probably wouldn't even be doing an event like this because I couldn't manage all the details on my own. But will uh, all the swag and projects fit into a suitcase? Yes, yeah. We have, like, the biggest thing that you're going to have is going to be a 20-inch size door hanger. So as long as a 20 inch door hanger would fit in your suitcase, your suitcase is probably big enough. Everything else is, is smaller than 20 inches. And we only have one 20 inch door hanger that's, that's that big. I didn't want you guys to have like 
everything <laughs> huge because then you wouldn't be able to haul it all home properly. So, uh, Norma, if you want to, if you will just text me, I put my text link up above. I will um, give you the links to the t-shirt clubs in text. It's just easier for me to do it there. Also, if you um, have never watched before and don't get our supply lists, you can text list to the phone number that I have up in the description and um, it will give you our supply lists for each project. So this project will have all the colors listed out, the brushes that I used, and a link back to this video to come watch later and so you can save that. Thank you, Carla. I think this bunny's gonna be cute too. I told Aaliyah, I said, you know, when I was looking at our Easter collection, which by the way, I, if you're just now tuning in, the Easter collection is 50% off all the Easter templates until Sunday and the blanks are 15% off. But I was looking through because I'm like, ooh, maybe I should paint an Easter design today since we've got the Easter collection on sale. I realized I have painted a lot of Easter designs over the years. Like most of those I have tutorials for on my YouTube channel. And so, or it's actually on here on Facebook too, but it's easier to find them on my YouTube channel. So if you end up buying one of the Easter blanks or templates from the Easter collection, head over to my YouTube channel and search for the name of that design because you may just find the video for it from one of the past years that I've done it. Uh, Debbie says, will there be a list of what the people watching on live will need to buy? Yes, we're gonna come up with supply lists. We'll get those to you by May the 1st if you're a virtual ticket uh, purchaser. Pam, can't wait to meet you, Aaliyah. Yay! <laughs> Pam's a sweetheart. Okay, um, what, y'all, I totally missed this little leaf right here. I didn't even see it. There's a leaf right here. We can talk about you together. <laughs> yeah, y'all can laugh about me and talk about me together. But come back and join me today at 2 p.m. because I'm going to be interviewing um, three of our guest instructors that are going to be teaching at the Dallas event. And then again tonight at 7 p.m., we're going to be interviewing three more. And so you'll get to hear from those ladies sort of what they're planning on teaching in the project, what they, what, what they love about these live events too. Like they'll share because a lot of them have been to live events or they've had their hosted their own live events before. And so getting to hear like from those ladies what they love about going to live events like this might really help you make a decision because there's just something about being together in person in a space like this with people who are like you that is so fulfilling to um, like your, your crafty soul and it just uplifts you. So if you're in a bit of a slump, maybe the last couple of years have been really rough for you. I know they have been for a lot of people. Um, this may just be the thing you need to kind of perk you back up and uh, like inspire you. I can't tell you how many ladies at the last event said that after that event was over, they were going to go home and start a door hanger business. And they were just so inspired. And we're not really even teaching very much business at this event. It's 99% painting. But I will say, Miss Heidi Easley is teaching a workshop on painting surfboards. And that girl teaches how to, how to teach a paint party. So she's going to share lots of paint party tips with you guys while she is painting those surfboards. So um, if you're a business owner or maybe you desire to be a business owner, you're going to be inspired and you're going to feel like you've got so many tools at your disposal after you leave, leave this event because you're going to learn hand lettering. You're going to learn glass and resin. You're going to learn how to paint flowers on canvas. You're going to learn how to paint hand painted earrings, how to paint a door hanger. Um, what am I forgetting? Um, how to do napkin art on a wooden block, all kinds of things that you can then take home and implement into um, a business that you decide to start or implement into your current business. And guys, if you have a business right now, this trip, the gas for the trip, the airplane for the trip, the, air, the t flight, if you have to buy a flight ticket, I can't talk right now. I don't know why that didn't make any sense. Um, your hotel, your ticket costs, all of that, all your meals while you're at this, those are all tax write-offs if you have a business because everything we're teaching at this is something you can then take and use in your business. Marie says she's slow and she's always the last person done. <laughs> that is okay. If you're a slow painter, you will have, uh, there will be opportunities kind of in between things for you to like get caught up or you could bring them to the uh, pajama paint party that we do on Friday night and get caught up during that time. 
yeah, Lynn, it might not be a bad idea to bring a notebook, especially to Heidi's class, um, because she will definitely be dropping all kinds of business tips. And you never know what kind of little nuggets you're going to pick up from the person you sit next to at lunch. Let's do a TikTok happy mail. Okay, let's give away some happy mail on TikTok. So if you're watching on TikTok right now, tell me what kind of crafting you love to do. Drop, drop a comment, and we're going to pick a happy mail winner. I'm fixing to paint this bunny rabbit's eyes. I feel like I need to look at the picture again. I don't remember what this bunny's eyes looked like. If it had white around them or blue. I think it had blue and black. Hold on, I got the picture right here on my laptop. I'll just pull it up and have it out so I can see it. See? Isn't that so cute? It's going to be adorable. Okay. She's got blue eyes. And then she's got black in the middle of the blue. So this part is blue. And this is Laguna, this color is. You love painting, door hangers, tumblers, all crafts, but painting Tamara. <laughs> a lot of people I've heard are doing the tumblers and using some of my painting techniques on tumblers. Somebody told me that the other day. I ran into somebody at Walmart and they were like, oh my goodness, I've, I've, you know, I've started doing tumblers and your painting videos have helped me with that. Okay, TikTok, your winner is Tara Slates. Tara Slates, who does door hangers and tumblers. <laughs> so send us an email, Tara, and we will send you some happy mail. I got a couple of questions about the buttons on your laptop. Oh, this the, the buttons on my laptop are actually like they're stickers. And so you can find some kind of like that on Etsy. They're just little stickers. Of the, I, I use Laguna a lot too. I like that color. Um, Debbie, registration on Friday morning is at 8 a.m. And then we will actually start in the ballroom at 9 a.m. But you may want to get there as early as 8 so you can get checked in and mingle and get ready. Stuff like that. This is going to have to have at least two coats for these eyes. And then we're going to do black in the center of them. Maxine sold her first door hanger today. Congratulations, Maxine. That's exciting. Doesn't it feel good when somebody buys your door hanger? It just, it's kind of like validation that you did a good job on it. <laughs> that somebody actually wanted to trade you money for it. Okay, this little bunny's nose is kind of uh, like a pink. Oh, what I was saying before um, was that, yes, even at lunchtime and stuff like that, you may want to have a notebook or something handy because you may be sitting and chatting with somebody and they say something that just suddenly gives you like an aha moment. Um, and you're like, oh, that's too good. I, you know, I'll remember that when I get home. A lot of times we don't remember it, even though we think we will. So, yeah, have a notebook handy. You're going to want to write down things all throughout the event. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Aaliyah said you're going to want to write down, like, phone numbers or emails if you guys, can, if you connect with somebody. Or maybe you say, hey, you have a Facebook page for your for your business. What is it? And you think you'll remember to go and follow them when you get home. But you, you may want to write those that kind of things down. Jonna says, I'm having a painting class soon. What's a good door hanger to start with? Um, so, one of the very first door hangers I taught was um, a mason jar or a sunflower. Those are both very simple to paint, easy designs for, for newbies and just starting out. So maybe something like that. So Marie, you guys will be able to do your own thing during meal time, but there are options for um, getting your meal in the hotel. Isn't that right, Aaliyah? Like they have a restaurant in the hotel. I think so, yeah. But meals are on their own. Yeah, meals are on your own, but there is a restaurant in the hotel and there's also... Like, lots of little restaurants 
within walking distance right outside the hotel. So you'll have lots of options for where you can where you can do lunch. So some of you guys may decide to like go to a restaurant just down the street or something like that and eat and then come back because you'll have an hour and a half for lunch each day. Um, and of course, if you're done quicker than that, you can just go and do some vendor shopping or you can just sit around and kind of chat or you can go back to the ballroom and finish the project that you didn't finish earlier. Maxine says it feels awesome. We saw your door hanger and then want her to do yard flags. Ooh, that's nice. Like yard art or like garden flags? Is that what she means? I think she means garden flags. That's exciting. I think I'm going to use a paint pen for the center of this bunny's eyes. So I need to get it just right. Charlotte wants to know how she checks into the early bird. How she checks into it. Uh, what do you What do you think she means? I wonder if she is thinking she wants to know if she's an early bird or not. So everybody who buys a ticket by April 30th is an early bird purchaser. And they will all get the early bird swag. Now, if you're talking about being... Oh, she's talking about the VIP dinner. Oh, okay. Oh, the VIP dinner. That I didn't even talk about that. That's something completely separate. So, after you've purchased your ticket, if you're interested, we are having a special thing that you can add on to your ticket price. Um, it is a VIP dinner, and it will be happening Thursday night before the event. So, the event starts on Friday, July 15th, but on Thursday night, we're having a VIP dinner, and... Um, uh, uh, our creative club girls will be there. A lot of our guest presenters may be there. And of course I'll be there and it'll be a chance for you to kind of like meet a lot of them and get to like mingle with other event attendees before the event even starts. So that's a separate thing that you can purchase if you want to come and join us for the VIP dinner on Thursday night. And I think there's more information about that inside the private Facebook group as well. I'm adding a twinkle to his eye, to this little bunny's eyes. <laughs> Are you doing any Happy Mail giveaways to Dallas? Giveaways to Dallas. Oh, no, I'm not giving away a ticket to Dallas. Can't. I wish we could. Um, you just hopped on. <laughs> I see what you did there, Anna. <laughs> Here's what she looks like so far. We're not completely done. She's looking great so far. Okay, I think next I need to I need to do the centers of the flowers. Um, and it shows like orange in the middle of the yellow flower and then a different color. But I did my flowers a different color. So we may still do orange in the middle of this one, but I'll do something different on those others. I don't know if orange will look good on these on the other ones. I've got a project on the blog about the, about the garden flag. So if you don't know how to do garden flags or if you need some tips, go check out that blog post. And we just put one on there the other day about stenciling too, if you struggle with stencils. I'm glad, I'm glad you guys like this one. Go grab this design. All of the Easter templates are half price between now and Sunday. And then the, temple, or the blanks are 15% off. Christine says, maybe next year I'll have money for Dallas. Christine, don't give up just yet. Have a garage sale like somebody else earlier said they were going to do or host a paint party or something like that to raise the money. You've still got time. There's 94 days until the live event. You can do it. Because next year it may not be in Dallas. Next year we may have it somewhere else. So this may be your only chance to see me in Dallas. See you later, Pam. Okay, I'm thinking maybe yellow in the middle of these other two flowers. What's that saying, wipe it off until tomorrow, what you can do today? Yeah. We're never promised another year to be able to, you know, say next year I'll come or next year I'll have enough money. There will always be something else Whoops, I need to paint another coat on this flower. The last two years have been <laughs> examples of that. 
Exactly. Aaliyah said the last two years have been examples of how we're never promised another another day on this earth or another chance to do something. And who knows, you know, uh, if there will be another event next year. So buy the ticket when you can. Take the trip to take the trip to wherever you're wanting to go when you can. Live like you live like you know, this is the year to do the things you've always wanted to do. Can you freehand these glasses on your shirt? Uh, I don't know if I can freehand some glasses. Debbie says I'm struggling with myself about Dallas. What part of it, Debbie? Is it the is this the, are you like an introvert like Tanya? Or is it something else? It's true, Lynn. It's so true. My husband and I have try been trying to travel more and do more things that we've always wanted to do in the last couple of years. I think I think ever since COVID happened, we were all just made suddenly so aware of how, well, oh, there's a hair in my paint, of how if there's something we're wanting to do, we need to be doing it because we don't know how many more days left we have on this earth and we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And so, you know. We're just trying to live in a way that we, we won't have regrets. We won't look back and say, I wish we had done this or that. Or I wish we had gone on this or that trip. <laughs> uh, what did she say about Heidi? Heidi's li Is Heidi live too right now? We both work during the day, so it's very likely that Heidi is live at the same time I am. Me and Heidi don't plan our lives around each other, so sorry. One of us you'll have to watch live, and one of us you'll have to watch on the replay. Oh, there's no way. You can't be getting too old. Then you definitely need to come next this year, because next year you'll be a year older. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know how old our oldest attendee is, but I know we've had some that were up in their 70s at least. Um, if not closer to 80. Um, and I am so impressed by some of these ladies who um, made the trip and who, uh, you know, put themselves out there and got out of their comfort zone to come to things like this. We had, um, and I don't know if she's watching right now, but if she is, uh, Miss Helen Anderson came to our event in Nashville, and she is a caretaker for her husband. Um, and so she took a couple of days and came to our event in Nashville and she said it was just so good for her to kind of like replenish her, um, herself and to do something for herself. And so I know her husband would want that for her. And so, you know, I, I know a lot of you guys have told me you're caretakers for somebody in your life. And some of you guys are just moms like me and, and like we feel guilty taking time away from our kids and taking a trip that's just for us because we feel like that's self-indulgent. Um, but, you know, I've said it before. I don't want my daughter or my sons for that matter, but especially my daughter because one day she will be a mom too. I don't want my daughter to look back on her childhood and know that her mom was, was so what's the right words, so wrapped up in being her mom that she didn't do something for herself. I want Charlie to have seen an example in me that she feels the, like she can give herself permission when she's older to take a trip with the girls or to go on a beach trip with her friends or to do something for herself. What did she just say her mom was 78? Her mom came in 2020. Oh. her, her mother was 78. So somebody came with their mom and their mom was 78. Who was that that said that? Don Mitchell. Don. Okay. Hey. <laughs> yeah. So you could make this a mother daughter trip if you have a uh, a mother who would love to do this. Maybe they're maybe they don't paint all the time. Maybe maybe they don't paint ever. But if you think they would enjoy doing this with you, or a daughter that you could bring with you, or a sister. We've had people, you know, sisters come. We've had best friends come together. They think right now of one person in your life you think would enjoy doing this with you, and send them a text this afternoon and say, hey. There's this event in, in Texas that I want to go to. Um, it's crafting and painting for two whole days. It's going to be a blast, but I'm scared to go by myself. Would, would you want to go with me and see what they say? Okay. Um, 
Let me look at my picture here. See what what details I'm missing. I think everything else is just stuff that we can do with the paint pens. And I just now noticed, I didn't even notice this before, that the bunny was a little bit gray in the example photo. And I did my bunny solid white, but that doesn't matter. Your bunny can be pink for all I care. <laughs> yes, that's so true. Sharon says, sometimes we need to recharge our bodies. My husband and I do trips. Uh, it disappeared before I could read it off, but... I completely agree. Sometimes we just need to recharge ourselves. Um, I go on trips to recharge myself uh, for my business and they're called mastermind trips. And so these, these trips allow me to work on my business for a few days instead of in my business. And so as a crafter, maybe you're constantly crafting for your business and you need a chance to be able to just craft for fun again. Perhaps that's you. Or if you don't craft at home, maybe you're too scared to complete a project because you're at home alone and you don't have somebody holding your hand. If you come to this event, you are going to leave feeling 10 times more confident in yourself when you go home to work on a project. I can say you need to go do that. I know you need to go do that. Oh, <laughs> Aaliyah says I need to go be an, an attendee at my own event and just paint and craft for, no, you for fun. Every now and then. Yeah. That oh, that's true. Sometimes, though, I think I need to go to crafting events like this just to refuel my creative brain. Where do you get the paint pens? Um, these paint pens are from Artistro. They're very similar to the Posca pens. You can find them on my Amazon affiliate shop. I've got it linked um, in my TikTok profile and in the video description. Let's do a last happy mail on Facebook. Okay. If you're on Facebook right now, just comment to let us know you're here. Maybe tell me where you're watching from, and we'll pick one more happy mail winner. And we're going to draw our bunny's little mouth and teeth on here. <laughs> that little mouth is so cute. Look. Oh, you're headed to Mexico in June? That sounds wonderful. I'm not at all jealous. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to start adding more of our details with our paint pens. Let's see. There's so many people on here from Texas. How many of you guys are from Texas? That's interesting. If you're from Texas, you definitely need to come and join me. Because, I mean, I don't know if I probably won't have another one in Texas next year. Next year, it'll probably be somewhere completely different. So this is your chance to come and uh, paint with me close to home. Well, I say close to home. I know Texas is ginormous. And, <laughs> and to the rest of us who don't live in Texas, like everything's probably in our mind way closer than it actually is but it could probably take you all day to drive across texas but if it takes you all day to drive across texas imagine how long it's going to take you to drive somewhere that's not in texas all right our final happy well happy whale happy male winner is bettina blaylock congratulations bettina This is quarter inch revolution plywood. Um, I'm gonna do some outlines here. And then I need to do um, like little eyelashes on my bunny. But I need, I feel like I need a thinner pen for the eyelash. I don't know, maybe I can make this work. So the eyebrows are kind of like this. You gotta be careful doing eyebrows. You do them too close together or at the wrong angle and the bunny's gonna look mad or sad. <laughs> you need her to look like happy, like they're up and apart. Pretty good. And then our eyelashes kind of go down and out to the side here. I'm kind of using like the edge of the paint pen to just gently and carefully do thin little lashes. And then on this side, about the same height. Okay. 
that one don't look as good as the other side, but she's got all the eyelashes now. And now to outline the ears. Georgia wants to share a room. Yep, if you're from Southeast Georgia, there's somebody in the comments looking for a roommate. If you haven't found one on here, check the, the Facebook group for the live event. There will probably be somebody on there who is just like you who wants somebody to share a room with. And then there's a couple of little like lines like this in the middle of the flower, so I'm going to do those. Adds a lot more personality to the flower. There we go. And now I'm going to get a white paint pen and kind of just add a few little white highlights. Do the paint pens dry fast? Yes, they do. Uh, Wanella, Corey did really good. This was his most profitable fundraiser ever that he did. And so I think they ended up raising like close to $6,000 for the family. It was an amazing, an amazing fundraiser. He did all, awesome. Tina has a hard time painting like that left-handed. Yeah, it's, it's like awkward to go the opposite direction of something. Just add some little details to our flowers and then we'll be done. Ta-da! Our cute little bunny. His ears are bigger than his head. <laughs> it's adorable. <laughs> yes, Cotton Chaos really helped with that fundraiser too. The t-shirts I think raised, was it $900? just the t-shirts. So that was awesome. Thank you guys for painting with me today. If you want to come paint live with me in Dallas, Texas, July 15th and 16th, that's in just 94 days. I know in our minds, July sounds like it's a long way away, but you're going to blink and it's going to be here. So we have set an early bird deadline. If you will sign up by April the 30th, you get all of our early bird swag. You get access to all of the event recordings to watch later in the supply list. You get extra goodies in your swag bag. You get an event t-shirt and a coupon to use at the Southern Adornments vendor booth at the event. And if you're one of our first 50 ticket buyers, there's only a few spots left for those, um, you will get early entry into the ballroom to pick your seat. You will get a Painter's Clubhouse t-shirt, so two t-shirts, counting the early bird swag. And you'll get extra time with me and the guest artists at the last night of the event in the photo booth to take all the pictures you want. Um, and then we're also going to send an extra special little gift to your hotel room. So I cannot wait to meet you guys in Dallas, Texas. If you want to find out more about it, there is a link up in the video description or over in my TikTok profile. And um, you can go, you can click on the presenters tab, see all the different projects we're going to be doing. You, on the main page, there's a video you can watch to see what it was like at the event that we did in 2019. Um, and it's just going to be so much fun. I doubt we do it again in Texas next year. So this is your opportunity to come and join me now. I will see you there. Bye, y'all.